A Panelist I.O. Smart Reader can be remotely enrolled using the CloudView mobile app or manually added in your CloudView.com account. When enrolling with the app, you will use the CloudView app to enroll the device. Your credentialed users will use a different app for access to the door, named CloudView Access. To enroll the reader, log in to the CloudView app. Click the plus sign and choose Add Mobile Access Device. Select the Scan button to search for nearby readers. You'll see one or more nearby readers to choose from with the first eight characters matching the serial number printed on the back of the reader. The final alphanumeric characters will match the confirmation code on the back of the reader. Select the reader you wish to configure. The form will fill in the serial number chosen. Add a reader name. The reader name will appear to the door's users to indicate which door they are unlocking. The mode selected should be Panelist, Mobile Smart Key Door. Then select the location. You also have the option of some additional settings below, such as the signal range, lock configuration, unlock time and schedule, and whether additional door sensors are used. If you are not using the optional sensors, you may uncheck these. Click Save at the bottom to finish configuration. To enroll a reader via the CloudView.com site, log in to your account. Click the Account button from the right-hand menu, then select the Devices tab. Above the Device list, click the Add New Device button, then select Add Mobile Access Device. Enter the device name. Again, this is the name that will appear to your users and indicate the door they are attempting to access. In the Serial Number field, enter the serial number that appears on the back of the reader, followed by a dash and the confirmation code. On newer readers, the confirmation code will be printed on the back of the reader. If you are using an older I.O. Smart Reader, this may not appear, in which case you may need to use the CloudView mobile app to scan for this code seen when using the CloudView mobile app earlier. In addition, depending on the age of the reader, you may need to update the reader's firmware. The steps to update the reader firmware can be found in the I.O. Reader user manual on the Cantech website. Make sure the function mode is set to Panelist, Mobile Smart Key Door, then select the reader location. The configuration panel on this page lists similar setting selections as when adding through the mobile app. Select the settings appropriate for your installation. Note that if you also have CloudView cameras configured on your CloudView account, that you may associate one of them with the reader as well. This may help you to view correlated video of your door from nearby cameras. Click Save when done. To add credentialed users to the door or make changes to the unlock schedule, unlock time, open time, signal range, or configure alerts, you will use the cloudview.com site regardless of which method you use for enrolling your reader. You may locate each of your added readers by clicking the account button, selecting the devices tab, and searching or sorting the devices list. Contact your CloudView dealer to establish or change the number of subscribed user seats for your account. Each credentialed user requires a seat allocation. These can be subscribed in multiples of 10 seats. Eight credentialed mobile smart key users would require a single pack of 10 seats for use. To unlock the door, users will open the CloudView Access app on their mobile device, which defaults to the Near Me display that shows the door readers in their vicinity. Choose the reader from the list displayed. On each user's first attempt to use the door, it may not unlock since it is initiating the communication between the user and the device. Subsequent presses of this reader should provide a message that the door has been unlocked. The reader will also provide feedback by means of the LED colors displayed. The locations display in the mobile app will list all doors the user has been granted access to whether they are in range or not. However, you must be in communication range with the reader to unlock it.